while I understand there's been a change in the leadership of this nation, I'm confident that you will still honor the agreement made by your predecessor and my king. We expect to leave here with 10,000 young men as agreed. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. Excuse me? I said I don't think so, mate. We've been wondering what you were doing in it. I like it. What is it? Yes, what is it? A carousel? A giant wheel of cheese? What are you supposed to do with it? I know. It's a dance floor. And once you finish it, how are you supposed to get to the middle? Well, how did you get it through the door? Did you carry it in or did you roll it in? May I remind you, a fleet of 3,000 longships controlling the seas surrounding your island would be unwise to displease my king. Sorry. George, wet stick, Percy, on your knees. Svedevere, if you would. I'm prepared to extend the deadline by a week. No. I mean, I'm sorry. You've made the mistake. You're no longer dealing with the man you previously met. You are addressing England and all the subjects under her king's protection. Arise, Sir George. So you have a choice. You can now kneel to England. Rise, Sir Tristan. Or I'll step off this throne. And you can deal with me as the man you previously met. Rise, Sir Percival. And we can see how that goes. <laughs> Sir William. If you would. It would be my honor. Now that's out the way. Let's see. Why have enemies when you can have friends? Arise, my king. King Arthur.